this is how to check compression on an outboard motor so right here i have a 25 horsepower oil injected two stroke has two spark plugs in it so what we'll have to do we'll take the motor cover off in the back of the motor there's two spark plugs i'll take one out then i'll put the compression gauge on it i'll try starting the motor which it won't start since the spark plug is out but that's how you check the compression so i have a pull start motor i'll give it a few cranks and see where the compression's at and then after that i'll put that spark plug back in i'll take the next spark plug out and do the same thing over and check compression in both plugs things you will need to be able to do this or some socket wrenches and a compression gauge good compression will probably read about 120 as you can see in the compression gauge it shows you the green and the red so i'm not sure if i have good compression on this motor or not so i'm about to find out so i took the motor cover off right here are my two spark plugs i'm gonna take the top one out first you just take this little black rubber piece out then we'll take our socket and we'll unscrew that you'll put the socket on it like this and give it a few cranks till it gets loose once it gets loose enough you'll be able to unscrew it by hand that should be good right there so now that we have the first spark plug off you're going to take the compression gauge you're going to screw it into this hole that the spark plug came out of now if i had an electric start motor it'd be a lot easier to do this i'm doing this by myself so what's going to be complicated is me trying to read the gauge and pulling starting the motor at the same time but we'll see if we could get it done Probably want the compression gauge on there, a good fit, just like the spark plug. I believe that's good right there. So, like I said, I only have a pull start mode. I don't have electric start, so probably gonna have to put the camera down. And I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give the motor a few pulls and see where the compression reads at. All right, so I gave the motor a few cranks. At first, it didn't go all the way up, but this is a pull start motor. It'll probably take a few cranks to actually get the compression gauge to go where it needs to go. It is literally right on 120, as you can see. So from my guess, this motor does have good compression. At first, it was about 110. I gave it a few more cranks, and now it's at 120. So next step is unscrew the compression compression gauge, put that spark plug back in, then we'll unscrew the bottom spark plug and check the compression in that one. The compression is good in that one, then we know we have good compression on our motor. All right, so we repeated the process. We took the bottom spark plug out, put the compression gauge in, and the top spark plug is in. So just like I did before, I'm gonna just hold the compression gauge up and I'll give it a few cranks and see where the compression reads at. I'll have to put the camera down to do this. Gave the motor two to three cranks and the compression went right up in no time, a lot faster than the bottom one. And it's reading at 120, so we know we have good compression. And that'll be that. Also, if you do not know, once you go, once you go to the next plug, the compression gauge is not gonna go down itself. There's a little button right here. All you do is push it, goes back down. So you could check your next compression test. And that is how you check compression on an outboard motor.